Alrighty, hey guys, just want to make another video and uh, with today's video what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how your power clutch works, right? And I know that when people look at this they because they get kind of freaked out they're like oh my gosh this is, looks really daunting but believe it or not and I'm being honest with you guys man this is 100% dummy proof. <laughs> this is super easy to uh, understand. Now I do encourage you to watch this video a couple of times and you know because it may take you a couple of times to understand this right i've been tinkering around with my old max pro for hours on the end so that's how i know this uh inside and out but anyway uh let's go over it when it comes to your power clutch there are two sides okay there's this side here that everybody knows okay and there's this side here which is the dial that controls all the resistance now to begin with i want us to focus on this side here okay this is when you take out the power clutch have you ever wondered you're like like one of these silver plates right <laughs> have you ever wondered that these silver plates are known as clutch plates and between each one is a friction pad that looks like um sandpaper check this out can you see that there right so there are five plates and between each one is a friction pad all right it looks like sandpaper as you can see now i want you to pay attention do you see how all five plates are perfectly aligned? Can you see that there? <laughs> Have you ever wondered why that is? Well, the whole point of it, okay, and this is the point of this turbine here, is to make sure that the plates always line up perfectly, right? So if I slot this in, I want, I want you guys to see this. Do you see how they, they all line up, okay? Now, at the moment, this is set to the lock position, which means that I should not be able to move these clutch plates. Do you see, see that there? Okay, I cannot move these, right? And that's the whole point of why you set the power clutch into the lock position. Now, what happens though? Have you ever wondered this? What happens if you forget to set the power clutch into the lock position? All right, so I'm going to do this on purpose. I'm going to set this to level one, okay? So let's say you've taken out the power clutch. You forgot to put it in the lock position. What happens then? Well, this happens, right? When I put the turbine in, okay, you can see this is set to level one. You can now see that these plates can start to move, right, from left to right. And in fact, you can turn these around all day long, a hundred times over, but at the end of the day, when you slot your power clutch back on, you're always gonna have the same amount of resistance. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying, right? Isn't that cool? And that's how Neza made it dummy proof, just in case you well, just in case you screwed it up as a customer. And even to prove it to you, right? I'm gonna be a little bit cheeky here. This is when you know that you've mastered your Max Pro. Check this out. I'm gonna do this on purpose. Okay. What do you do if the plates are misaligned like this? And in fact, hold up, I do even want to be a little bit more cheeky. Hold up. Okay. If people saw this, <laughs> right, they would freak out. And I'll do even a little bit more, actually. Hold up. Give me a sec here. Right, there we go. Okay. If I showed you this, a lot of people would freak out. They don't know what to do. Don't worry, okay. The whole point of this turbine is to ensure that before you put the power clutch back on, that all five plates must, will will perfectly align. And let me prove it, okay? I'm gonna slot this back in. I'm gonna to try to make these align. Look how cool that is. Can you see that there? <laughs> so what I'm trying to say to you, and what I'll do is I'll set this to the lock position, okay? Okay, all right, this is in the lock position, which means that these clutch plates can't move, right? I want you to understand, all right? I'm gonna go really slowly here. No matter what happens to your clutch plates, even if they're all over the show, right? The whole point of this turbine here is at the end of the day is to make sure that they all perfectly line up so that when you slot on your power clutch, you're always gonna have perfect resistance. Isn't that cool, all right? So hopefully you understand that there. So that's this side, okay? Right, what about this side here? Well, when you take out the calibration screw and you have it set to the lock position, when you remove the dial, you're gonna see a white gear. Can you see that there, all right? Now we've done a video about if you wanna have perfect resistance, it's very easy. Um, I want you, hopefully you guys can see it there. There's a red dot there on the gear itself and then there's a red paint stripe on the silver there. If my goal was to have, if, I, if my goal was to reset the power clutch, right, and I want to have perfect resistance, 
all you do is you turn the gear, right? And in fact, it's a little bit tight because it's in the lock position, but here we go. In fact, hold up. I'll just use this. This will help. This just helps you turn it because once, it, like, can you see see how the, sorry guys, see how the red dot is moving closer and closer? So I'll keep turning this with my hand now because it's easy for me to turn it. And there you go. Do you see how it's perfectly aligned? So if my goal, if I, if I wanted to reset my power clutch at this point here, when I line it up, I then would have to pick a number between 10 and 15. And for me, I try to, I usually go as level 12, okay? Like that there. And I would have perfect resistance. Hopefully that makes sense. If you don't understand this, please watch my video about how to reset your power clutch, okay? And when I, so this is set to level 12. This has perfect resistance at the moment. What I'll do is I'll set it back into the lock position. Okay, like you see there, I'll take this out. And once again, you're gonna see the red dot's gonna go back to its original position that we had it beforehand, okay? Now, how are these two connected? Have you ever wanted to know how on earth they're connected? It's, it's a very clever design. Look what happens, right? We know this is set to lock position. Look what happens when I set this to level one, okay? Because when you set it to level one, that means that you have basically no resistance, right? Can you hear the rattling noise? Can you see that? Can you hear that? So that wrestling noise is coming from the five clutch plates because there is actually hardly no resistance whatsoever. And in fact, I want you to pay attention here. Do you see how the springs, they are the ones that are controlling the resistance. So at the moment, there's no resistance. Do you see how loose these clutch plates are? Now look what happens when I crank up the resistance. Hold up, this isn't... So one, right. So I'm gonna crank it up to, let's say, level 25. I'll take this off. Do you see how there's no shaky noise, right? So when you turn the dial, what I'm trying to say to you, when you turn the, the dial here, you're actually turning the white gear. And the more you turn it, right, the more higher the resistance you go, the more tighter these clutch plates become, all right? So hopefully um, this makes sense. If you guys don't understand it, please watch the video again if you need to. Um, and hopefully you found this useful. This is exactly how it works, okay? The white gear controls all the resistance. Um, if it's at level one, the plates will have no resistance on them. And in fact, you can hear them shake. If I crank up the resistance, the tighter the plates become and the more resistance is applied to the spool. So anyway, have a good one. Bye.